All throughout history, humans have sought after the divine. They formed religions and spiritual beliefs on all corners of the globe, among the most prevalent being the Abrahamic religions of Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. Religion on the African continent is diverse and at times antithetical to the Abrahamic tradition, and so we struggle to perform a satisfactory understanding of it. Moreover, the Western world compounds the issue with ingrained discriminatory practices. Today, I wanted to explore a particular African belief that is the absolute opposite of how the Western world views the role of God in our lives. What up African world, it's Home Team here and welcome back to another video of African history, culture, and worldview. By supporting this channel on Patreon, you're helping in the creation of these videos and contributing to this content. The link to Patreon is in the description box below. There is no singular concept of God or his role in human lives. There was and still is a vast array of indigenous spiritual thought processes that exist on the continent. When we in the West think of Africa, our proclivity to imagine witch doctors, multiple gods, and voodoo dolls is reflexive. However, one may find it surprising that the idea of monotheism existed very early on on the African continent. One scholar's work based on the dates he gives suggests that it was the first time the idea ever existed, well before its presence in the Middle East or Europe. Two of the early African religions, those of the Niger-Congo and Sudanic civilizations, were distinctly monotheistic thousands of years before the idea of monotheism ever occurred to Middle Easterners or Europeans. Despite this, how can this video be about the African concept of God's role when African worldview and religion are not monolithically expressed on the continent? Africa is very diverse including its concept of God and his role in human life. So we're forced to focus on a small corner in West Africa that countervails Abrahamic thinking in a salient way. When I first encountered it, I was so captivated by the concept because it was so opposite of a Western paradigm. As we begin, please keep in mind that this video is not designed to affirm or reject any religious moral principle the intent is to discuss the religious and ethical differences, revealing the dimly lit corners of an African perspective. Additionally, it's important to note that descriptions of African religious thinking in this video may not be distilled perfectly and can be victim to error. The topic of African religion is complex. Our resources are limited, so we can only do our best with the information available. The religions of Judaism, Christianity, and Islam are usually referred to as the Abrahamic religions. Within these belief systems are figures who tried to abide by moral principles set before them by their God. In Abrahamic sources, the idea of morality is objective, instructed by the Creator Himself. Moses coming down the mountain with the Ten Commandments perfectly illustrates this point. The Western world undoubtedly inherited this model of belief. Morality comes from God. Seldom is this challenge in the Abrahamic worldview. It may even be offensive to do so. Africans, as mentioned before, had a variety of belief systems, some of which parallel the Abrahamic model of divine instruction. However, there is one ethical model from West Africa that I find profoundly interesting, shifting the Western paradigm on its head. Scholar David Fisher, in his book African Founders, took time to travel to the continent to learn more about the descendants of African people in America. In his research, he discovered something fascinating about the beliefs of the Akan peoples. Here's what he had to say. Protestant and Akan ethical and religious beliefs differed in important ways. In revealed religions such as Christianity, Judaism, and Islam, Ethical systems are perceived as a product of divine revelation in the form of sacred text. Akan moral beliefs had another foundation. 
They centered on an idea of ethics as derived from the needs and customs of a people and were reinforced by the gods rather than dictated by them. Kwame Giki observes that rather than regarding African ethics as religious, it would be more correct to regard African religions as ethical. The Akan perspective on ethics seems to value fluidity, while the Abrahamic perspective places its trust in the immutable commands of sacred text. It's amazing to me that two human groups can have drastically different approaches to morality and the role of the divine in their everyday lives. I'm really curious to hear how you guys can contribute to the question of morality. What do you guys think are the pros and cons of both ethical systems? Well, I'm all out, guys. If you like these videos and want to help in its continued production, consider supporting the home team on Patreon.com. The link is in the description box below. Know thyself. Remember your ancestors. Peace.